but you don't want to you want the level to be right here so make a hole so that ends up the top ends up being here right. but make sure you put enough mud around it so the thing isn't going to come loose right. okay but these are pretty hardy plants you can't hardly do it wrong investigate the chesapeake bay watershed and wetlands and describe how they support a wide variety of plant and animal life that interact with other living and non-living during things. the summer you'll see this will just be not completely filled with plants but more plants than water um, it's a lot of wetlands in here we've got a couple of circles of fencing which we can't quite see and we're going to be putting more wetlands in here as well yes yeah, yeah, there's actually a beaver lodge right here on our right-hand side. That's the very top. It's a, it's a big, big lodge. You can see some of the sticks and the beaver chewing, um, but it, it actually goes well down into the water. For students, the field experience is not just an opportunity to learn about the environment and to take responsibility for it, but it can be lots of fun, so, too. Are we going to catch crabs here? No, because crabs like what type of water? Yeah. The Chesapeake Bay Foundation declares teachers and other educators are a crucial link in restoring and protecting the bay for generations to come. Alan agrees. I would like for young people to get back to the basics, to get back to land and soil. Um, years ago, we were connected um, because we would go back to North Carolina and South Carolina. We'd go back to little small farms that many of us came from. And that's even vanishing today. So there's a real disconnect. And I'm hoping that by getting young people out here, that they will enjoy the outside, that they'll enjoy nature, and that they will, we'll be able to bring home to them that this is the only land we have. This is the only water we have. This is the only air that we have. And so they have a responsibility to protect it, protect it both for themselves and for the next generation that comes.